A few months ago, my hair looked like this. But now that I know how to take care of it, it looks like this. Okay, if you don't have poker straight hair, then this is the video for you. I started a modified version of the curly girl method and this is what my hair currently looks like. If you want to look at the changes that I made to get my hair looking like this, then please keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing that I do is I use a shampoo that does not have sulfates, silicones or parabens. And of course, which is cruelty free because that matters to me a lot. Okay, so I will shampoo my hair with the WOW activated charcoal and keratin shampoo. I will condition my hair with the argan oil shampoo, uh, conditioner, sorry. This is by WOW. And for hair gel, you can use the WOW aloe vera gel. This doesn't give you that great hold. If you're looking for great hold, you can use the Enliven hair gel in the keratin variant. So yeah, I'll wash my hair and when I wash my hair, I do not go upside down and you know, sort of wash my hair like that. I just wash my hair standing up because it doesn't have to be that difficult. You don't have to break your back to wash your hair. That's, that's, that's what I learned very early on in the process. So yeah, I'll wash my hair and then I'll condition. Once I condition my hair with the conditioner on, I'm going to start combing it out. And when I comb it out, I start from the bottom and I work my way to the top till my hair is not free. So once I do that, I'm going to wash my conditioner off and I'm going to come back and I'm going to share the rest of the steps. Okay, so I've hopped into the shower. I'm going to get my hair wet. I'm going to take some time to make sure that it is sopping wet. Next, as you will see, I'll start with shampoo and for shampoo, I'll be using the WOW Activated Charcoal and Keratin Shampoo, which means protein. Okay, I'm going to focus the shampoo on my scalp and scalp alone. And I'm going to massage it in, really getting in there, because this promotes hair growth. Do not underestimate this step. Next up, scalp massaging brush thingy. I'm going to scrub, massage and brush out my scalp, getting rid of any dirt, debris or buildup. Wash the shampoo off. Can you see that shampoo traveling down the shaft of my hair? Which means I didn't need to put shampoo on all of my hair because it would just dry my hair out. And I don't think I'm about that life. So next up, my little kittens, I'm gonna use the WOW Moroccan Argan Hair Oil Conditioner. What a tongue twister. Focus this on the mid length to the bottoms using praying hands. Whatever I have left on my hands will go on my roots. Now with a wide tooth comb, I'm going to start detangling my hair. I'll start at the bottom and work my way up to the top. You can lift your hair a little bit so that you have no pulling and tugging at the crown. Patience ladies, patience. This is going to take some time but you don't want to hurry it up. If you hurry up, you're just going to cause hair breakage and nobody wants that, right? So it's very normal to lose hair while you're detangling. Side note, the average person loses 150 strands of hair a day. And you're gonna wash and detangle your hair what, once a week? Multiply 150 by seven, guys. Yikes. If at any point you feel like you're having trouble detangling, don't add more conditioner, just add more water. Anyway, getting back to the point, comb your hair till it is nicely detangled and do not freak out if you lose hair, okay? Just take your time, be patient and comb it out till it's completely not free. Next, as you'll see, I'm going to do something that is called squish to condition. So all you're going to do is squeeze your hair up to the top and you're looking for that really nice squishy sound. That's when you know you're doing it correctly. So yes. Squeeze your hair in an upward motion and this is going to encourage the curls to form. Lastly, you're going to want to wash that conditioner off. Signing off, back to you awkward Michelle. Okay, so I'm out of the shower and my hair is soaking wet. I haven't done anything. Uh, I haven't used a towel. A towel is a big no-no if you have curly hair. So yeah, wash my hair, I condition my hair. And then I just detangled and like I said, I started at the bottom 
and now we're here. <laughs> no. <laughs> so yeah, I started at the bottom and I detangled my hair completely. On my wet hair, I'm gonna style. A lot of people uh, style their hair uh, when their hair is wet. A lot of people style their hair when it is uh, just damp. If I don't style my hair when it is soaking wet, I have massive migraines. So I'm gonna do just that. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my hair and I'm just going to sort of put it into four sections. And I'm gonna take some conditioner. Again, I'm using the argan oil conditioner from Wow. And for each section, I'm going to use one full pump. Now, when it comes to quantities, I'm not going to tell you to use only two pumps of shampoo or three pumps of shampoo or one pump of shampoo. Honestly, you guys do whatever you feel you need for your hair because our hair lengths will be different, our hair texture will be different. The amount of hair that you have on your head will be different from the amount of hair that I have on my head, which is why I'm saying you do what you need to do. So yeah, I'm just going to take the product and I'm going to start at my mid lengths and I'm going to go to the bottom. Yeah, once I have it through my hair, I'm just going to comb it out so that I distribute the product. Now with whatever I have left on my hand, I'm just gonna reach towards the crown section. But essentially when you're conditioning your hair, it makes no sense for you to put conditioner on your crown because you need to wash your crowns. Focus your shampoo on your crown and your conditioner more on your mid length to ends. So yeah, now that I've done that, I'm just going to comb through. And I feel like I have enough product in my hair now, on this section at least. So I'll go to the back section. I'll take another pump, a full pump of the product. And again, starting from my mid lengths, I'm going to go down and really concentrate the product here. Whatever I have left on my hand, I'm going to put it through my hair and then once again, I'm going to comb my hair so that I distribute the product evenly. I'm sorry if the audio is not that great because I have my mic a little far away from me because obviously my hair is wet. I could pin it onto myself. Yeah. I'm just going to repeat the same thing on this side. And basically what I'm doing is I'm just raking the product through my hair. There are a lot of terms in the CG method. You have praying hands, you have scrunching. I'll make a video on all of the terminology and everything that you need to know so that you're a little more familiar. Now, raking is also good because essentially you're causing curl clumps as in the way in which your hair clumps together in the curl or in the spiral, whatever you have, or in the wave. Let's not forget wavy girls out there because I'm also a wavy girl. So, yeah. And another thing that I want to say is I do not style my hair without a part because generally this is the part that I maintain. So I like to I like to style my hair on a part. I'm I, I don't sort of you know like style it backwards. I don't think that makes any difference to me because I'm not looking so much for volume. I'm looking for definition. In the beginning, you're going to look for definition, and once your hair is nice and trained and it does what it what you need it to do, you're probably going to focus on volume. But initially, when you're starting off, this is totally fine. In fact, I do as much as possible so that I'm avoiding my back pains. So at the end, I'll flip my hair over, but that's the only time when I'll do that. Now, what I also like to do is I like to take my hair away from my head and I'm just going to comb it and ribbon it out. So, you know, when you have a ribbon, 
and you sort of take a knife and you pull it through the ribbon so that you know the ribbon curls that's essentially what i'm going to do to my hair and when i do it i'm going to use vertical sections i'm not going to have horizontal sections because i want to get as many curls out of this one section so yeah just going to take it i'm going to do that again a vertical section oh yeah and when you when you're detangling your hair or whatever a comb like this is really nice because it doesn't have any jagged edges so you're not causing any damage to your hair and it's really good for detangling as well i bought this from spencers if i can find a link I think this is from Roots, if I'm not mistaken. If I find a link, I'll put it down in the bottom bar. So yeah, I'll just do that on my entire head and be back. So yeah, once I've done that, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to squish to condition. I'm just doing this to encourage my hair to take the form of a wave. This is the only stage when I sort of tilt my hair. The rest of the entire process I do just standing up. So I'm just squishing my hair to encourage the curls or the waves in my case. I'm 2B. So yeah, I'm just gonna do it on both sides. Now remember when you're doing this, if you see frizz, when your hair is wet, then you're going to see frizz when it is dry and we don't want frizz. Essentially, what I'll say to you is embrace your frizz. I don't think it's a big deal. Nobody has perfect frizz free hair. So yeah, in the beginning, don't worry about the frizz. The frizz is just some hair waiting to find its curl. So the last step, the very last step, I'm going to I'm going to look at, you know, if everything is OK, everything is good. I don't have any frizz on top. If I have any flyaways, I'll just sort of put them in place. And the last thing that I'll do is, I'll take the gel. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to glaze it through my head. We call it the praying hands. So in the beginning, when I was looking up the curly girl method and watching videos and everything, I always thought they meant praying hands. So I assumed, you know, like, how do you catch your prey? I'm guessing, you know, your claws are out. But no, <laughs> it's praying hands. Anyway, whatever. I'm gonna take a uh, gel. Now, I'm not going to tell you how much gel to use because your hair is different from mine. All I can tell you is I am not shy with my gel because I want that hold. And the more gel I put, the more my hair sort of stays in place while it's drying. So, uh, I use a lot of it, like a lot of it. This is the only time during the entire method when I'm going to take my hair I'm going to sort of flip it around. I'm going to take a ridiculous helping of gel. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to tell you that I only use a pinch because I don't. I slather it on my hands. And then, first I touch my hair. And then I am just going to glaze the hair from top to bottom. Now, one final time, I'm going to give it a little squish because my hair isn't super curly. It is too big, so I need to do whatever 
I have to do to encourage the curl. Once I'm done with it, you can see my part is still intact. Once I'm done doing all of this, I will plop. Now, I generally plop my hair for 30 minutes, no longer, because otherwise then the waves look all crazy. So yeah, just looking at the frizz, patting down all the flyaways. Okay, so yeah, we're good. Now I'm gonna plop my hair, take it off, and then I'm gonna let my hair air dry. Now, when I let my hair air dry, I do not touch my hair, I just do nothing. At most, I'll move my hair from side to side to sort of get some air in, in inside it. But yeah, I do not touch my hair while it is drying at all. I'll insert some footage of uh, how I plop my hair right here. Okay, so squeeze out excess moisture using a large cotton t-shirt and place the t-shirt on the bed with the collar away from you. Fold once at the top and twice at the bottom and then slowly lower your hair into the t-shirt. Now I would recommend using an old t-shirt because it's going to stretch out really funny. Wrap the folded bottom bit around your head by bringing the two ends together and hold it together so that it's nice and secure. Keep holding it, do not let go. Now bring the folded collar bit to the back of your head, take the sleeves and secure it in a knot. Now adjust the front bit so that there's no pulling and tugging. You can double knot it if you have any hangy bits. Make sure that it's not too tight. And lastly, serve that kitty cat realness. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes. It's time to take the hair out of the plop. I'm just gonna let my hair air dry. And for this one stage, I'm not going to let my hair be in a part and periodically I'm just going to switch it from this side to that side. I'm just going to let it air dry and from time to time I'm also going to take my hair and very gently turn it from this side to that side. So yep, I'll be back when my hair is dry. Okay, so I'm back and my hair is completely dry and the gel has left my hair feeling very crunchy. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to break out the gel cast by scrunching my hair and we call this scrunching of the crunch. I'm just going to take my hair. I'm going to keep doing this till my hair feels nice and soft. Okay, so as you can see, my hair looks really nice and defined. I've got some volume, but like I said, volume is never really my, my concern. As long as it doesn't look unruly and I can wear this out and I don't have a problem with it, then I'm good. Okay, I thought I'd just insert a line. It's not that I don't wear my hair in different ways. Sometimes I'll just flip it this side, I'll just flip it that side. I'll do all of this to make it look like much more voluminous. So yeah. Okay, you'll also see that I can just flip my hair from this side to that side to make it look like it has a lot of volume. I don't really have to keep it just on the parting that I style it on. It still has a lot of movement. It has a lot of flow. So yeah, when I want it to look nice and sort of tamed, that is when I'll keep it on its part and when I want it to have movement, then I can just flip my hair. enjoyed this video then please consider subscribing to see more of me consider liking the video if you got some value from it leave me a comment if you want share it with your friends my name is michelle and i'll see you in the next one